Hey up, Toasty here from Games with Toasty, and today we are back playing Pyre. So last time we went through the tutorial stage and we made our way to the Ridge of Gull. And we are inside our caravan and we are going to interact with all these sparkly gubbins before heading off and commencing with our first real rite. So what are you? The Greentail Family Portrait. A reasonable likeness of a younger rookie with his mother and uncle. Okay, so we can't click on that. What are you? Uh, what passes for cooking supplies in the downside, Hedwin does most of the cooking. Hedwin status donning his raiments. Cool, okay. Fashioned from a howler's hide sends the... Fashioned from a howler's hide sends their ilk a clear message. Jodariel says not to step on it. Okay. And then the book. So look at the ancient manuscript. It's changed. We've got a new page. Okay. In the words of Gol Golthanian, the Master General, you know perhaps the thrice cursed name of Salam Mur, the Emperor of Sar, the first exile, and my liege. This chapter concerns him and those who found him in the downside. Each of us was sent to take his life. Such was the hatred for him such was the hatred for him in and around his country. Yet we found in Sal Salim 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 Yet we found in Salim Mur a man transformed in body, mind and spirit, a man deserving of much more than mercy. In time he named us his scribes, and he became the eighth. It is my greatest honour now to share with you his deeds. To know his story is to know the rights. Cool. So the story of the first exile. Sweet. It's pretty damn funky. And there's no more glittery bits, so we will leave our wagon and then we shall commence the first writ the first right. Well first real right anyway. So commence the right. You reach the celestial landmark. Now get now to get everything and everyone prepared, interact to begin your first true trial. Okay. As darkness falls, your fellow exiles stand together, clad in the raiments of the rites. Their preparations are set, however, everything is still and calm. Soon they grow restless. What a bunch of idiots. <laughs> Ooh. The stars align at last. You reach the Ridge of Gaul at the appointed time, and your triumvirate is ready. Your adversaries in the rites this eve shall be the accusers. Ooh. Whose ever pyre yet burns once the other is extinguished shall step closer to freedom. Now let the rites commence. What happens when you lose? Do you die? You're forever banished? The stars are aligned and your pyre burns bright. Across from your companions appear several others also clad in raiments. Your adversaries in the rites. Well, they all seem to be like Hedwin, so regular ass humans. So we have the speed advantage and also the defensive advantage of having Jodariel with her too. But they're a bit more flexible, I'd imagine, in terms of each individual character. The one whom she refers to steps forward. Oh, is that us? The name of a triumvirant in blue. It seems your fellow exiles have assumed their identity. Hmm. 
Nobody moves, save for the man robed in gold who unfastens his mask. Oh, Lendl, who's he? Lendl, he's a he is the apparent leader of the exile triumvirate you encountered at the Ridge of Gull. Gusas, an exile triumvirate clad in gold, their leader harbours ill will for something he thinks you did. He shows his mask back on and takes position with his comrades. It is time. From the shadows, you clutch the Book of Rights and focus on the task at hand. Here we go. I want to sprint to it, grab it, you it of a rookie. Okay. Then, here's a gap, there we go. Accusers well, rookie is very handy for this, but obviously rush over, get, take it, pass it to Jadariel, pass it back. Yeet. Got it again. Okay, this, is, this seems pretty simple so far. Ooh, oh no, I shall not accept defeat. They always boil in rage. It seems that you have flustered the accusers. Have you any uh, idea to fling the orb? Oh, she could even throw the orb into the fire, too. Okay, well, we'll try it again. So we'll get a bit closer. Display. Okay, so you can Flinging throw it. The orb into the flames like that. Okay, you I'm guessing you can... banishment using such tricks. Ah. <laughs> oh, nailed it. To the adversary's flames. Well, Dodario seems to be a very good distraction piece. Uh -huh. oh, no. See ya, Hedwin. Knew you well. Joy that the AI can only move one character at a time too. No more than a lick of blade Feels very fair. Ah, <laughs> try, try to do a cunning jump. Yeah. Ah, no. One health left, and we've definitely won this. But it's just a story. This is really fun. This is very interesting. So I'll get Hedron safe. Hedron up! Positively brutish. <laughs> okay, we need to wait for Hedron to come back. Yeah! It is done. You have prevailed. Untouched flame in your single fleeting Ooh. victory. I will rejoice in my single fleeting victory. Thank you very much. 
Hmm, I wonder what we did. We will never forget your wickedness. Bask now in the wisdom of the scribes. The exile Jodariel has gained enlightenment. It is an RPG. You Only gain experience and shit. That's and awesome. Regain their freedom. This is really cool. Choose a mastery for Jodariel. After using her rush to lunge forward, Jodariel can rush again right away. That'll make her incredibly mobile. I mean, for someone as slow as Jodariel, of course. Or we can go for rel uh, Relentless Vigor. After banishing an adversary, Jodariel instantly recovers all her stamina. Well, that makes her also fairly good. Okay, what's, what's the other things down here? So this is like this is like a more def a defensive Jodariel, you know. Uh, killing things is good for you. Uh, larger auras. Jodariel's pyre has plus 35 flames. Okay. Any adversary banished by Jodariel takes 30%. Okay, so this is definitely like the you know the defender Jodariel path. This is like speed. When landing from a jump, Jodariel briefly stuns near adversaries, making them drop the orb. Okay. I imagine that's better than it sounds. Because a like, banishing them would also do that. For seven seconds after saluting her adversaries, Jodariel deals an extra ten damage. Right, so you want to sort of like get you want to score as soon as possible because Jodariel is already worth more on the score. So getting an extra ten is pretty significant. Dodariel can banish adversaries. Alright, okay, this is okay, yeah. That's pretty good. I think we're gonna go for the You know, I think I wanna go with the defender, Dodariel. You know, go for the big old tank. The demon scribe bestows his favor. Okay, and Brookie hasn't leveled up yet, that's a shame. Awesome. After the rites, the accusers disappear into the darkness. As you return to the wagon in the still night sky, you see a single star burns brighter than the rest, beckoning you onward. On to our next rite, I'd imagine. The rites are real. I like that. That like wavy, misty, watery thing that came in when we, because we've just teleported or returned from the right. That was a subtle little thing that I really enjoyed there. Until we are free. As selfish as, as selfish as it sounds, it is definitely better us than them. As the others go about their as the others go about their business, Hedwin turns to you. You and Hedwin walk in silence for a time before he speaks up. Okay, so we can ask some questions. Uh, ask how he was exiled, ask how he got to this wagon, ask what he could the price himself, ask what happens if he refused help. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll ask why he was exiled. They asked us if we were a reader, which seems to indicate our exilement, so it'd be nice if they shared too. You ask Hedwin what he did to get sentenced to, to living in the downside. He, main, uh, he maintains eye contact and his smile. Oh. Read the stars again and I'll tell you about it on the way. Okay. You sense he speaks truly as he beckons toward the fading dark above. You gaze at the stars. This one. Uh, okay, Joma, unless it's no more like Norsey, that'd be Yoma. Yoma, the Dusk Star. 
the dusk star burns brightly over an ancient spring in Yoma Valley. Let's go. It's like a scorpion. Maybe. That's what it looked like to me anyway. That's a long way north and west. We'll see it's all back in for it. It'll be fine. Then he turns to the others. A rookie. Mustache dog Mushu. I'm interested to see what happens when howlers do strike. If there's other um if there's other gameplay mechanics involved then. Okay, the spring of Yoma. According to the stars, the next rite shall soon commence here. The Alpha Chief hoped bathing here would cure his ailments, but it only made him itch. Well, that's a shame. Well, I think we will jump into our wagon. Speak to Jodariel. You sense Jodariel's steel gaze well before you turn to her. Always. A uh, little bit. You have never before met someone like her, but do you? But do know something of what happens to those who remain in the downside for many years. I mean, yeah, she is a, a, a hulking behemoth of a woman with giant devil horns. So yeah, I'd say she's a bit intense. You tell her in a careful way that you've done your best thus far to not cross paths with her and wish to stay in her good graces. <laughs> good. She walks away. You feel the floor of the wagon shake with her step. Oh, that's not good. Oh, is that good? No, that doesn't sound good. So Jario lost minus one hope for the next right. Oh dear. That's sad. Okay. Well, I think we will call it there. We're heading towards the 20 minute mark, so that seems like a good place to end it. As always, this has been Pyre, and I've been Toasty. Please consider leaving a like and a comment letting me know what you thought and of what games you'd like to see me play next. Also, please consider hitting that subscribe button and also clicking that notification bell. It means a lot and also you'll be notified of when the next Pyre episode or any episode of any series that I do lands. So until then, thanks for watching. Happy gaming.